now that we're all set. Um, the Kent State University Museum was founded in uh, 1985. How do I click it? This way. Just use it down. Yeah. Ah. Was founded by Shannon Rogers and Jerry Silverman. They were Seventh Avenue entrepreneurs who. Uh, formed a partnership in 1959 that was extraordinarily um, successful. And Shannon um, began buying historic costumes. And at the end of their career, when they needed to place the costumes, Shannon originally was from Ohio, um, they had 4,000 dresses, 1,000 pieces of decorative art, and 5,000 books. And they needed a place for them. And at that moment, um, Kent State, which had, was recovering from May 4th, 1970, uh, was looking for uh, different ways of engaging the public again with the university, re-engaging. And so the, the president, Rachel Golding, thought that a, a museum of costume and a program in fashion design and merchandising might just do the trick. Shannon's career actually started in the New York theater. He was uh, hired by the Bergman Studios and assigned to assist Whitman Thompson on The Warrior's Husband, which turned out to be Catherine Hepburn's first starring vehicle, where she wasn't actually fired. Um, and um, Cecil B. DeMille saw the production, and um, he was getting ready to do the 1932 uh, Cleopatra, and he asked, who did the Greek ornament? And they said, kid from Ohio. And he said, I'll take him to Hollywood. So the lawyer's husband got Shannon to DeMille, and it also got Catherine Hepburn a screen test. This was the Cleopatra in 1932. And Shannon was a kind of glorified gopher. Um, go get some more jewels on that person, and go make another costume for that one. And that's pretty much the way it worked. However, DeMille only made one picture every two years, and when he wasn't using Shannon, he rented him out at twice his fee. Um, he took part of it. Um, and so that's the way Shannon began work in <coughs> film. He's never credited. Um, in this uh, film, Marco Polo, which was not terribly successful, uh, Omar Khayyam was supposed to do the costumes, and he went on a binge. And so Shannon had to do most of the clothes. And this is a sketch that Shannon did for Sig Gurry, and, and this is the actual still from the film. He also was assigned to do the men's clothes for Marie Antoinette. And this coat on the left he bought at the MGM auction, uh, and that was for uh, Joseph Schulko. There's the Duke d'Orléans. I love the way they spell the Duke d'Orléans <laughs> in the credits. So, amazingly enough, uh, all these years later, in 2010, um, the estate of Catherine Hepburn was trying to place her personal collection of her performance clothes with an educational institution. And through a process that was several <coughs> years in the making, um, they landed at Kent State. Um, and Catherine Hepburn didn't fit normal mannequins, and so we had to make a lot of the mannequins for Miss Hepburn. Um, we've got 31 pair of her beige pants, um, and we, this is the way we chose to show them. In the exhibition, which was here at Lincoln Center a couple of years ago, uh, and has been traveling, uh, traveling around the country. Um, I was determined not to show the clothes unless I had a picture of Kate wearing them. Because in and of themselves, they really didn't have the sort of vitality that, that um, she brought to them on the screen. And so in the case of this wonderful dress designed by Muriel King, um, we had the still of, of her with uh, Constance Collier. And then, of course, the Adam's Rib dress, which is probably the star of the show. And we had to make special mannequins because uh, no commercial one um, had those measurements. So we've always had film costume because of Shannon's um,
career in Hollywood uh, and his fascination with the golden era of Hollywood, which is when he was there. And so it was natural for us to say yes to the Hepburn estate when they came calling. Small plug. 
Um, but the exhibition is free and open to the public in November. Um, so a lot of people come in just to, to see what's there. And you're all more than welcome to come. And our catalog will be online, uh, hopefully this week, after I get back to the office. Um, so yeah, please come out. There's a lot of costumes from, you know, sort of the 30s, 40s through the 90s. So it's a pretty wide variety. And hope to see you there. Thank you.